Hey everyone. So, uh, Shannon wants me to make a lemonade stand slash fishing stand for a photo prop. And, uh, so today I'm going to get started and we'll see how it goes. Um, I have a couple ideas in mind, but, you know, it, it's never going to turn out how exactly I want it, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to start out by measuring my board and I'm going to go, uh, 30 inches for the bottom and I'm going to put a hinge in between the bottom and the top piece and I'm going to go 55 inches for the top piece. I'm going to do that for both boards so we have two sides and two tops. Alright, so for the bottom, the bottom piece, and there's going to be a, uh, a middle tier where they can sit their lemonade and stuff on. Those are going to be 37 inches long um, in order to account for the 40 inch long um, pallet boards that I have. So I want to have a little bit of playroom to be able to screw those into the the boards going up. And I got a bunch of uh, scrap pieces of pallet board from work, so I'm going to use that to cover the middle. Alright, so <clears throat> I went ahead and I cut those pieces. So I got three, three boards, four, one's for the bottom, and then I'm having two two for the, the, the uh, oh, what do we want to call it, the, uh, the area in which you're going to be placing all your items, counter, your counter, wow, okay, um, and then these, these two are your bottom sides, so one side, two side, and this is going to be the top hinge pieces that are going to swing down on either side and swing up so that you can uh, attach a sign to it. I know it doesn't make sense now, but in my head, <laughs> in my head it does. Alright, and then you just start to screw it together. I'm losing daylight here, so I gotta be fast. Two sides on. Ignore the mess in the background. All right. Now I have the top two boards to make the counter. Remember what it was called that time. All right. So there's our frame. Our little counter. Now I'm going to take the pallet boards and I'm going to cover the middle section there. And then I have those other two pieces right there that are going to go tall ways here and attach right there with a hinge so that they can swing down for easy travel. Alright, so I went ahead and attached the board so that now so now it it has hinges so it can swing down so that we can get it in the car. So it's getting there. And then what I'm going to do is on the top here, I'm going to add hooks. There's going to be another board over here. I'm going to add hooks so that you can uh, hang a sign that says lemonade on there. But you can change it so that she can change uh, any type of photo shoot that she wants to do. If she wants to have a little fishing counter. Um, if she wants to, I don't know, have a little ice cream sundae uh, photo shoot on it, uh, she can change the sign for, you know, whatever, whatever you want to have it say. But it's coming along. It's getting there. 
All right, I'm losing light fast, but uh, so this is what it looks like with the both sides down. This is what it looks like with both sides up. And then like I said, the sign will go in the middle there, and then I'm gonna fill in this gap here. Well, I'm gonna put a support right in the middle, and then I'm gonna fill in the, this gap here with the pallet boards. And she can put a sign up there. And it's portable. We can take it wherever we need to go. All right, so I went ahead and I added a support beam for extra support. And uh, now I'm gonna go downstairs and uh, in the garage and I'm gonna stain all this. I think I'm gonna stain it a dark color. Um, that way, I don't know, it makes it look a little bit more rustic and uh, so. Go do that. So I got uh, some Kona wood stain from Rust Oleum. That's pretty dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and stain it. So, I also want to kind of go through what I'm doing here. So, I'm using a, uh, a rag or any kind of disposable rag that you can get. And I'm just dipping it in the stain and I'm just rubbing it in. You don't need a whole lot of stain. A little stain goes a long way. And you just rub it in. <clears throat> and what I also would prefer to do is wear some sort of gloves because it will stain your fingers and your hands for weeks. So wear some sort of glove, the gloves that have some rubber on them, or uh, disposable nylon, uh, not nylon, but uh, rubber gloves or any kind of gloves that have a protective sealing on them. Because it will stain your hands for weeks. So, Also, use clothes that you don't care about because it will drip, you will get stains on yourself, no matter how careful you're trying to be, you will stain yourself and if it's clothes that you care about, then it's really going to suck. So now what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I got these boards, these pallet boards from, uh, from work and um, I'm going to have to get these nails out and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grind off the back of them, I'm going to pound them down in and I'm actually going to keep them, uh, kind of makes it a little bit more rustic. And what I'll do is I'll end up just drilling a new hole to, to drill them on. 
but it kind of keeps the feel of the power board. got the pallet boards on and uh, next step is to polyurethane it and uh, I'm going to get a piece of board and uh, make a sign. Alright so one of the last things I did was I added so this is the bottom I added these uh, hinged boards so that Whenever you stand it up, it has something that if in case the wind blows, uh, it has something to be, what are you doing? It has something to uh, back on. And what we can do is we can put some, some uh, weighted weights. Yeah, weighted weights. <laughs> some weights on these so that there is no there is no give to it but uh, I think it's pretty much done I just got a polyurethane so I'm going to attach these hooks onto the top of that there so that whenever both sides are up we can put a board across it there's a sign that says lemonade or bait shop or ice cream shop or whatever they want to have a photo shoot of. And so on the back side of the pallet board I'm going to put these, two of these on each side, one on that side, and then I'm going to hang it. Alright, and here's the finished product. We can change the sign to whatever we want it to be. It can come off. These flip down, both sides flip down so easy travel. We've got the, the legs in the back that fold up so that everything's nice and compact. I think it'll make for a good photo shoot. A little bait shop or lemonade stand or whatever you want it to, to be. 
Um, I think everything together. Let's see. I I had I had the wood already. I got the pallet boards from work. Um, the only thing that I really had to buy was polyurethane, which was ten dollars for a big can. These hooks, which I think ended up being like maybe eight bucks. So altogether, I spent eighteen dollars on this whole thing. I had the the hinges. Um, I had the stain. So yeah, I spent maybe eighteen bucks on this. bad. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me make this and we're hoping to have a booking soon for lemonade stands and bait shops and stuff like that now that it's getting nicer outside. So um, look for that session to be coming up and um, yeah, thanks for watching.